Hey everyone, how are you guys? I hope you guys are doing great. So today I'm going to do a pick a car video, pick a pile, however you wanna call it, with channel messages. And I wanna channel the person that likes you. Because I noticed that at least on TikTok, a lot of you guys, or some of you, and I don't want to say a lot, but it gave me an idea for a topic. Which, by the way, you guys can definitely give me topics that you want me to read or you want me to channel. Um, but um, a lot of you guys don't know who I'm talking about sometimes when I channel these messages. Because maybe it's an ex that you don't no longer want, or maybe it's someone who is just a crush, who has a crush on you, some secret lover, secret love. So, because of that, I want to channel that person for you. And I'm going to try really hard to give you descriptions, as many as possible, so that you can have an idea as to who really has the hats for you, who likes you, who wants to be more than just a friend, a coworker, whatever, right? Who has the hats for you? Now, I can only channel their energies that way. And of course, I always channel a lot of the energies of you. Um, but if you don't happen to want this person anymore, there's really nothing I can do about that. I'm just channeling who I'm channeling, right? And hopefully this stronger, their stronger energy will come through. So let's say you have more than one person that likes you. Hopefully the stronger energy will come through, not just anybody, right? So let's do some incense. Definitely let me know in the comments if you guys find that this reading resonates for you. I'm trying to think what decks, because I used these already. Um, for those of you who are interested in a reading, I have the instructions in the description box below on how to purchase a reading. Also, I have a link to my Amazon shop where you can find most of my cars that I use. And if you're interested in purchasing it, you can do it through there. Okay, so let's see. I've been wanting to use this deck forever. And just now, I'm going to use it on all three piles so I'm gonna use the same deck that's what I'm going to do maybe I'll put other decks in there but I will be using the tarot of sexual magic okay put it over here I haven't used this in a while so let's give it a warm up dragon's blood all right so i'm gonna do three piles now i want you to focus on your person the person that you really want me to channel okay so that's what i'm going to target that's who i want to target the main person <sighs> okay i'm going to find out who is the person that has the hats for you and what they would like to do to you now that could you know it varies as you guys know how i read okay and this deck is pretty good with that but it's it's basically brand new because i barely use it So let's see. Pile one, I'm gonna start. 
Okay, got four. Give me one more piece. Four. Yeah, five. If you guys have any interest in anything else about my channel, it will be in the description box below as well. Three, four, five. All right, so what else? Let me pick one of these. I just got this deck and I didn't even use it on you guys yet. This is the, the steampunk fortune telling cards. I love fortune telling cards. They're actually my favorite. That's what I started reading with when I first when I did my first reading. I use gypsy cards, fortune telling cards. They're actually better for me. I channel them much better. But I learned tarot and that's and it is what it is. I channel my readings anyway, so I really don't go too much by the description. I do use it, but I try to go more with my intuition, my gypsy side. couple of cards maybe one more for each and I also want to use the romance angels I've been using these for my own personal readings and for some of my paid readings but I haven't I don't think I've used it on a video yet so let's get one for each Pile one. Pile two. This unicorn. Rose quartz. And pile three. Let's do this cellulite. Okay. All right, so you can pause the video, choose your pile. So again, pile one, pile two, and pile three. Hi, pile one. If you chose pile one with this really pretty crystal, this is your reading. All right, so let's see who likes you and what do they like about you, okay? Pretty much. We have the Ace of Chalices, so the Ace of Cups. Wow, so this person not only likes you, but they're like in love with you. Hopefully you know who that is. We have the Three of Pentacles. This may be a work colleague. We have the Four of Wands. Mm. Wow, this person really likes you. They want to spend a lifetime with you. It's a very strong connection as well. We have the lovers. Wow, what did I say? Right? Definitely a strong connection. And the six of swords. Okay. Now we have the bell. Okay, so I'm getting wedding vibes for sure. We have the wine glass. Wow. If it's not a wedding, then this person wants to make an announcement as to, they want to let you know how much they like you. So this might be someone that you don't know that they like you. Or if, you know, you if you do know, oh my God, a soulmate. Look at that. Um, it says, yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, so, I mean, wow. I'm shocked that you don't know this person if you don't know who I'm talking about. 
Um, okay, so let's start. This person definitely is in love with you. This is someone that you have a very strong connection with. This is not just anyone. This is very strong. Um, I feel like you guys either lived together before or you had a very strong relationship before. Some of you guys. If you never lived with this person or never had anything, then this person, um, they want to live with you. They want you to be wifey or husband material, right? They want you to be theirs forever. This is a very jealous type of person, very possessive. Um, there might have been a time, though, that if you know who I'm talking about, this could be an ex, okay, also, because um, I feel like there was a time where it was you and someone else that was pining for this person's attention. And either you broke up with them, you left them, you rejected them, or they did. Whatever, however that falls. It could be vice versa. Um, wow. This person is enamored. Enamored by you. They're overly affectionate too. They're the type of person that likes everyone to see you touching. And they want people to know that you kind of belong to them. They're a little bit on the possessive side, okay? So it depends on what you're into. This person likes to hold you by the waist. Yeah, they definitely like to hold you by the waist. And they're very much in your face, too. I feel like this person can be the type that if someone is flirting with you, like in a public place, and you guys are not necessarily physically together, and they just happen to see you talking to someone else in public or someone else approaching you or anything like that, they're the one type of person that will legit would get in, in between you and this other person that's trying to talk to you very obvious very rude very much in their face like yes and <laughs> this is someone who can be very rude because they want everybody to know that you belong to them or that you are with them even though you're not flirting i'm not saying you're not doing anything to attract attention from someone else this is someone that doesn't let anyone get it wrong that's what i just heard they will not let anyone get it wrong. So they want everybody to know that you guys are together. Everybody would know in a room that you guys are together. Either they're very touchy-touchy, they have a, they do a lot of PDA, or, or they almost, they have an energy about them that they push people away with their energy. Um, like... I almost want to say that like they growl. Wow, okay. You know like when a dog growls and they go like that? They may not have the sound, but they give the face or something. Or they have a very intimidating posture when someone else is talking to you. That's the vibe that I'm getting. Um, this person wants to, depending on where your relationship is, this person wants to get engaged. They want to level up their relationship. They want to, oh, I just heard... They want to level up their game. Something. Bring up their game. or Something like that. Um, I feel like that if you guys have not been intimate. They can't wait to, to get there with you. This is someone who's very. Um, but I just heard they don't want to scare you away though. They feel that they can be very um, strong with their sexual prowess or whatever, however you say that. They're very strong. Uh, they're a very strong sexual partner. You know, they're very intense. That's the word. Um, so when they want someone or when they love someone, they love hard. So their physical interactions are just as hard. You know what I mean? They, they're really strong with their interaction. So they're not just going to give you a tender hug. They're going to really like savagely want to eat you up or something. Um, and it's almost like it becomes, a, it can be a little comical sometimes. You may like chuckle or laugh a little bit because they're so aggressively 
sexy about it, right? They're, but they're not trying to be aggressive. They're trying really hard not to scare you away. So I don't know if you've been intimate with them, but they feel like if you've never been together, the first time they want to hold back a little bit so that they don't scare you off because they can be very hands-on and aggressive and, and, you know, oh, I just heard it thrusting. Okay. All right. They're definitely the type to want to satisfy you, but they're not slow. That's the problem. They get very excitable and they have a hard time holding back. If you've already been intimate with this person, then you will know how they are. They're, they, they're like an animal in bed, I guess, right? Um, but maybe you come off as someone who's very delicate or very soft-spoken or small in stature maybe because they feel like they'll break you or something i feel like this person once got so excited and aggressive with you intimately that they broke your necklace i'm getting a, like a vision of someone breaking your necklace you know having rough sex or something and at the time, you didn't notice. I feel like you found pieces of the necklace all over the place. This person and you tend to have heated conversations as well. And it makes them want to rip your clothes off when you have those heated conversations. It makes them go crazy. This is that type of... Um, Like they, you guys argue or whatever, right? But when you make up, it's makeup sex is it's huge. It's a big deal for this person. They they get they get really hot and bothered by that by the makeup by the makeup sex. I feel like they watch you while you're sleeping too, and they touch you. That's the only time that they can hold their aggressiveness a little bit, and they'll like. They'll touch you very lightly, almost like you're a delicate flower, like you're a delicate object, like you're made out of porcelain. I don't know. They feel like you're really delicate. Sometimes this person watches you when you're not noticing and they watch you do simple things. Let's say if you guys live together, they'll watch you like cook or they'll watch you hold a vase or something. And to them, you look like a freaking, like an, like a work of art. This is a this person is really into you. Oh my goodness. Like they're really into you. So if you're not together and you've never been together, this person they watched you. I mean, for those of you guys who say you don't have social media together or how could they possibly watch? I don't know. I mean, they could go as far as watch you like through your windows or something or watch you shopping or I don't know. I feel like if, if they'll go as far as stalking you physically, like actually walking behind you at a store and you would never notice because they're really slick with that. They just can't hold back when they have sex though. When they get intimate, it's like they lose their shit, right? So if you haven't been intimate, they're afraid that they'll, they'll they will be overly stimulated and scare you a little bit because they can be a little bit and I know they don't mean it. I can tell they don't mean any harm by it. But in previous relationships, they've had their their partner in previous relationship have been qu uh, equally aggressive with them, right? So they've had that match intimately. And I think maybe one time, maybe once or twice, it went too far where they actually probably physically hurt someone unwillingly, not wanting to do so. And you don't come off to them as someone that would be that aggressive. So they want you all the more because of that, because you're like, I just heard a rare creature. Wow. Oh. So they want to make an announcement. They want to take you out to a fancy dinner. This is the type of person that's very romantic. They want to get you roses. This is someone that wants to sweep you off your feet. This is someone that wants to impress you. They want to really impress you. It's all about you. They like your toes. Okay. 
okay? This person likes your toes. It's almost like... I feel like if you guys are together, or if you've been intimate, or if you've been close like that, they, they've touched your leg with... No, wait. You've touched their legs with your toes. Something like that. Like you play with your toes, or they've seen you... I don't know, maybe do your nails or paint your toes or take your shoes off. They've they've really watched that. And that's like an aphrodisiac to them. They watching you play with your feet, it, they're into feet. Also, they're into lingerie. Not full. I mean, obviously, they would love to see you naked, but they want to the only time they'll probably go slow with you will be if you wore lingerie right that would actually calm them down because then they'll go into fantasy mode and they'll be okay so if you wear lingerie and take it off slowly this is the type of person that deals with that better it's almost like you have control of how fast they can go by the way you may not know that So who this person is, it could be someone you work with, someone you go to school with. You probably have meetings, have had meetings with this person, with other people, maybe not alone all the time. Maybe you guys were part of a three-party situation for some of you guys. But this is someone that you've, you've had a very strong connection with. I feel like you've interacted. If you don't know who I'm talking about, you've interacted amongst a group of people with this person like at a wedding at a park gathering where there's a lot of flowers something like that maybe you went to a friend's wedding a family's wedding something like that and this person was there and they sat you either at the same table or you guys somebody here went for a wine glass like i guess the waiter was passing the glasses you went for a glass and this person either went for the same glass or they, they had just picked their wine, something like that. Like you had some sort of interaction where you both kind of like faced each other face to face. And it kind of shook you a little bit. Like you felt like you knew them, but you really didn't. For those of you who don't know the person. This person is really, really into your negligee area, into your neck, your, your chest. And they're quite, I feel like someone here, the the uh, masculine is quite bigger. And the feminine might be smaller because they want to pick you up or they, they've picked you up before. Or they feel like they can embrace you in a way that you're small. To At least to them, you're very small. So no matter what body shape you have, to them, you're like a, a very delicate, small person. And also for some of you guys, you're very different from the norm, from what they're used to, from their culture, from whatever. You're very different in one way or another. You're very, um, some of you guys have really, really dark raven blue hair, like black, blue, black hair type. So, all right, I'm going to stop there because the video is going long and I have two more piles. All right, Pound One, I hope this made sense. If it did, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, hopefully, this is who you're expecting to hear about. And remember, in the description box, if there's anything else you want to know about my channel, if you like the video, remember to like the video. If you haven't subscribed, remember to subscribe. Take care. Ciao. Hi, Pile Two. If you chose Pile Two with this pretty unicorn um, rose quartz, then this is your reading. All right. So let's see um, who likes you and what do they like about you, right? All right, so we have the Ace of Wands. So this person thinks you're really sexy. They're very sexually attracted to you. We have the sun, wow. A lot of fire. You brighten up their day. We have death. This is a very intense person. Very intense. For some of you guys, not for all, it could be a Scorpio. Or a Leo, okay? We have the Knight of Chalices. So it's the Knight of Cups. 
five of pentacles. We have the letter. And this is crazy because there's the letter and we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And then we have the mermaid. Wow, okay. So this all kind of is matchy-matchy to what I was getting. This is someone that you may not definitely not know who this is. Some of you guys. Maybe you suspect who this is. But, but I'm getting a vibe of most of you may not really know them or at least have never been with this person before. This is someone who finds you uberly attractive. Uberly attractive. The feminine here, whoever you are, you could be the one listening or the one that you're here for. Um, is uberly attractive, it's sexually and um, mysterious. So there's a um, an air of mystery here, an air of feeling bewitched by this person. The feminine is the bewitching type here. Okay, so the person um, finds you that way. So choose your side, I guess. By, it could be vice versa. Um, something about you, it, it's very feminine or there's someone here super feminine okay you're also a very some of my ladies might be very voluptuous on the hip area okay and the bottom <laughs> so they're very much into your body i'm getting major um references here of like a violin type of body or a guitar type of body or a coca-cola bottle body right That may not be for all, so please don't don't get offended. This person, um, if they recently communicated, you might speak to this person on social media. You might get a text from this person, get a phone call. If you don't communicate, if you recently started to communicate, then they're really close to communicating with you, letting you know how they feel about you. Because I feel, like I said, that this is a secret love. This is definitely a crush. At least that's the vibe that, I'm, that I have here. This might be someone that you've already had sex with because of the Ace of Wands. And maybe it was a one-night stand or it was just a hookup and you thought nothing of it. Well, this person's still very hung up on you. Very much so. This person looks forward to having more than just sex with you. But if sex is all they get, then they want that. And as long as they're with you or within your vicinity or your presence, they're like very in, in admiration mode here. This person feels like some of you guys might sing or hum. Someone here hums. And that humming or maybe when you, when you were intimate, if you were intimate, um you oh that's the word what's the word oh i can't say the word it's like sex noises i guess whatever sex noises you made oh my god <laughs> it's 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 really engraved in this person they, they actually get turned on when they think about your sex noises if you've already been into it okay if not, then there's something about your voice, the tone of your voice. They're very into the tone of your voice. I mean, it really, it takes them to another world. This person will give up their wallet for you. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> so again, that bewitching is really strong here. Um, Maybe you do this on purpose, maybe you don't. You probably don't. And um, somebody might have heard you cry even, or you had a moment of weakness at one point and this person either witnesses or heard you and it's, it's in their heart. It's really, they hold on to that really deeply. This person is really passionately, intensely into you. This is a very like intense feeling for someone that you may not even have had anything with, okay? This person has a hard time expressing how they feel. They have a really hard time expressing their feelings, their emotions. They almost feel like you should know by now how they feel, even though they've never never really expressed it. Maybe you guys have a relationship in the 5D a lot, but this is a very secret, secret affair or secretive type of vibe. This person dreams, oh wow, they dream about touching you. 
they close their eyes and fantasize about just touching you or just reaching. It, they feel like you are unreachable. They want a romantic night with you. They want a fireplace. They want... This person has like a mountain fetish. Like they want to be stuck in a cabin somewhere where you have no way out. Okay. <laughs> I mean, nothing dangerous. I don't... I'm not getting a dangerous vibe, but I'm getting a... I want the... They When they think of you, they say, I want him or her to be stuck with me for a long weekend up in the mountains somewhere where all we do is be on top of each other. Wow. They're really, really into you. They want to touch your skin. They want to feel your skin. They want to feel your hips or your, your butt, that area. You might feel that you might be too old for them. Some here, someone here may be much older and you don't think this person and you have a shot, but you feel the, the intensity of this relationship, okay? These are your insecurities, talking or so, society, whatever, right? But this person does not look at you that way. Yeah, they're not stupid. They might know, obviously, there's an age difference, but they don't see you that way. If they go by what they feel, they would just... They will not listen to society, even if they have listened to in the past, okay? Even if that was one of the reasons that stopped you from being together right now because they don't have you or because they're feeling like they're losing, they're losing grasp of you, like they're losing you somehow. They just want you. They want to hold on to your... <laughs> They want to hold on to your um, to your hips while making love to you. This person has a very nice body. Ooh. They have a very, like, some of them may not be all okay, but they have a really hidden, it's like they don't flaunt it, but they have a really nice, um, nice body. If it's the, uh, the masculine, I feel like, a male has like a really cut up body, but you would never think it because they don't flaunt it. You can tell that they're attractive or you can tell that they work out or something like that, but they're not bulky or something like that or whatever it is, it's very hidden. Something about their stomach is very, very attractive. It may, it, it may not be a six pack, but it's very, very attractive. Or at least you will lose your shit if you saw it, right? If you haven't seen their... You're into their stomach and they're into your hips or your your womanly figure. You know what I mean? You're very into each other. If you don't know who I'm talking about, once once you see them naked, you're gonna be very much into each other. This is a very physical, but at the same time, it's possessive, okay? I feel like this could be the beginning of a very long-term affair or a very long, like a lifetime type of relationship. But there's so many obstacles here because of the differences of whatever those are that if you guys let that go or if you let those people influence or the situations influence, you might lose out on an amazing relationship. This is huge. This is like on another level. This person does not want to see you with anyone else. This person, ooh, if you have someone else and you don't and you know who I'm talking about, this person is so jealous. Wow. I figure I feel like they cry, like they sit there and cry out of anger. Not like super wussy type, right? They cry out of anger. They they get so upset if they see you with someone else or if they think you're with someone else that they get angry and they you know, they angry cry. They can be very aggressive too. Like they'll fight for you. This is the type of person that would really... <laughs> I just heard they're very masculine, okay? Whoever they are. They want to send you a long ass text. This person wants to send you a long ass letter, email, text, or if they get on the phone with you, the conversation is going to be long. But they want to be able to just express what they want to say and like it or not, it might be abrupt, it might be rude, but they just have to get it out. They're desperately 
holding on to all these feelings, right? And they feel sometimes that, I just heard that you might play with their emotions in some way. It may not be you. It may be some sort of like past relationship, um, you know, um, trauma, I guess. Someone might have played with their feelings in the past. But I feel like either you're oblivious to this or you know that you feel what you feel, but you're not really going to be the one to approach this person. You're waiting for them to do something because they did something to you in the past that probably cut up the connection for some of you guys, okay? Maybe they were rude, they were mean, they hurt your feelings. They did something to hurt your feelings before or do something to piss you off and you cut them off. Abruptly, still wanting them, but you cut them off. Because of that, and they know what they did wrong, they feel like they're scared shitless to approach you. They feel like you're so abundant, you're so yummy. They just want to touch you up. So besides your hips and your waist, like I said, very female figure. They're into your... F so some. I feel like some of you guys might think that you're overweight or that you're not the perfect figure. But they, that's what they want. You are what they want. They want the, the old, typical, like, um, Greek goddess, you know, statue <laughs> type of... Um, look, that's what they're into. They're into you, believe me. And I don't think they've had many like you before. So besides your um, hips, because I think that's mainly what they look at a lot. Maybe they stare at them. They also, they just want to feel you, like your chest, your breast. They, they want to feel, they just want to touch you. They want to touch all of you. And if you've already been with this person, let me tell you, they watch you while you're asleep. This is, this is that person. Yes, they do. Because if you've been together, they, and, and then you broke up or something happened that broke this up, um... They were afraid to lose you back then. And I think they self-sabotage. I feel this, like this person closes their eyes and thinks about you with someone else. They actually picture you with someone else. <sighs> even if you're not with anyone, by the way. Even if you're not. They're so freaking insecure that they picture you with someone else so that they can get rid of you out of their heart. You know, they don't want to think about you. They don't want you. In a way, they love you. They can't stand not being with you. But it's like, since they can't have you, they'd rather not, right? So they get angry and they try to picture you with someone else so that they can forget you, right? Instead, it makes you want them all the more. It makes you want to, it makes them want to just show up at your door and go crazy on you. So I feel like they will communicate, expressing their emotions, expressing what they feel. This person, you guys, um... Some of them might have a beard or a mustache. They have facial hair. Let's just say facial hair. But I feel like someone is going to definitely communicate with you. And I'm telling you, all you have to do is listen to them. Let them talk. Let them say what they have to say. Say their piece. And um, I feel like this person has called you and not talked on the phone just to hear your voice. Because they have a thing for your voice. That really turns them on. Your voice turns them on. They think you're very sweet, very nurturing. Something about your voice is very pulling to them. Like I said, it, it makes them feel like you're doing some sort of spell on them, okay? <sighs> okay, I'm going to stop so that I can do the next pile. But this is very, um, very intense. I feel like, okay, one last thing I just heard. <laughs> Um, maybe some of the ladies use some, whatchamacallit, toys in bed. And you probably focus on this person. And they know that you do that, by the way. Because they're very into you. So the 5D communication is strong. So when you do certain things in bed by yourself, and you think about them, they know. Just a little something to ponder on. All right, so pile two, I hope you like this reading. If you did, please remember to like the video, to subscribe to the channel, and definitely let me know in the comments if this made sense to you. All right, take care. Ciao, pile two. Hi, pile three. If you chose pile three with this selenite, then this is your reading. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have the three of cups.
we have the tower. The Nine of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, then we have Beacon. Aeroplane. And we have worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, so this person, some of you guys may be far away from each other. This person may be traveling. Or they may live in a, you know, pretty far from you. Um, if they don't live far from you, then they're currently on vacation or traveling to see family or something like that. Um, this person, I feel... Um, you you cut them off a little while ago. Something happened between the two of you guys that you've cut this person off. You cut them off. You couldn't take what they did to you. You were really upset and you cut them off. Now, um, this person thinks you cut them off for someone else though. So whether you did or not, they think you left them or broke up with them because you like someone else. And it really broke their heart or it is made them angry. They went through a process of I'm angry, whatever. I don't need him or her. Go whatever. And then I feel like this person, maybe you guys work together. Somebody here might have worked with this person or went to school with them. Something where you're not, were not necessarily romantically involved. Some of you. Some of you were. And they, they kind of screw with you or with your head, or with your emotion. I feel like they weren't very forthcoming with feelings. They didn't really express how they felt. This is someone that you've been waiting for them to do what they're supposed to do. And approach you, apologize, do something to make it work between the two of you. Um, they might have left you for someone else too. Or they chose between you and someone else. And they chose the other person. Which, by the way, they chose wrong because they can't stop thinking about you. And that other person cheated on them. Okay? So that's very specific. Um, I feel like this is some, some sort of divine union. This could be your soulmate, your twin flame. Um, there are moments that you look at their pictures and you remember what it was like to be with them. But you get angry too. Oof. You're so angry. <laughs> um... This was a very passionate connection, okay? Whether you were together or not, it was very passionate. Even if you guys weren't physically together, I feel like maybe you didn't get a chance to to get there. But it was because there was a third party or there was a third situation. It could be their job, their family, something that got involved and kind of like got in your way. Um, I'm getting some somebody here might have had a sister who got a... who. I just heard tantrum who threw a tantrum because this person wanted you and the sister doesn't like you it doesn't have to be a sister could be someone else but that person may not be romantically involved with your person it might just be that they didn't like you and so this person kind of like you know obliged to whatever they wanted which pissed you the f off like it really pissed you off you couldn't believe that they didn't fight for you something like that um this person is looking for clarity they're talking to friends they're talking to family or they're talking to somebody about you and clarity they're they're trying to get advice mind you they could be talking to a therapist um but they want to know how to approach you how to get back in there how to do it and i feel like when they do because they will um they will be very rudely or it will be a very abruptly. It would be something that you're not expecting or they'll ask you about some dumb stuff and you're like, really, that's what you're calling me for? Or, you know, something like like They, they will be very awkward about it because they don't know what to do. They just, they just want to break the ice. You've been waiting for this person for a while. Or it hasn't been a very long time since you guys communicate. 
feel like you know that they're not near you, that you know they went away somewhere. Or maybe you traveled away from this person to forget them. Somebody here went on like um like a spiritual hiatus, something like that. Like you really stay away from social media or you're staying away from family, from friends because of what happened here. It could have been them, by the way. This person is very, very stubborn, very stubborn, very egotistical. Their ego is very high, so they have a hard time saying sorry. Okay, they're going to have a very hard time saying sorry. I think like they really were told by someone else that you were cheating on them, that you were with someone else or that you had a boyfriend or you had a man, you had a girl or whatever, right? But who, if it was the other way around and they did have someone else, it that person really, really treated them like shit. Like they really, their karma, it was, it was quick and it came down hard. So right now they just want a chance, just a chance to explain themselves. But I don't know if they'll say sorry. That's, I'm not getting a sorry from them. I'm getting more of a, you know, it wasn't my fault. It was this one's fault or it was your fault. Like that. They're going to be stupid about it. You know what I mean? This is a rough energy, very rough, very militant. This could be someone that's in the army, in the military, or wears a uniform of some sort. It could be even a police officer. They have a really hard time saying sorry or being um, being being open to feelings. You know what I mean? I feel like some of you guys. Um, this person watches you or keeps an eye on you and you definitely don't know that they do because either you know that they're far away so there wouldn't be no chance but I feel like they talk to someone else who kind of keeps them informed about you. They think that you're very strong, that you can be very mean to them too. <laughs> so um, that's why they're having a hard time thinking you would forgive them so they don't want to even waste their breath. Even though they want you, but they don't want to even say sorry at the chances that you will just say, go screw yourself. Because they know you got it in you or you were right to be angry. Um, I'm assuming you would know who this is. Some of you guys might definitely have been intimate with this person. And sex was rough. This is the type of person that they, they could be rough with sex okay like but i feel like you you match their energy you match them pretty well intimately i feel like some of you guys have been praying for this person to come back but the fact that they went with someone else kind of pissed you off and you don't think there's a chance just know that that someone else in them fell through that relationship fell apart for those that did go with someone else. And now they're feeling the. Like the repercussions of that. Of having done that or having been with someone else. They went with the other person for pure pleasure. They felt that you were. How can I say this? They, they, they almost blame you. Okay, so don't be. Don't think that this is the truth. It is what it is. You would know what happened in your connection. Even if it's not true, they think that you had a wall that did not allow them in too much. So it's almost your fault. You know what I mean? So I don't know if they're very mature yet or if they're really in a good place to come back. But that's what I'm getting. Now with the worth waiting for, I feel like you feel like this person is worth waiting for. And it they can be, but I feel like they might... Once they come back, if they come back now, you're still going to go through some rough patches, okay? Wow, I just heard a plane here. So definitely the person might be um, taking a trip back towards you or is taking a plane somewhere. I almost feel like it, they went, somebody here went to another country. Or they went to the countryside, to the country. Like chickens and goats and cows and things like that i 
I feel like this person drank a lot too. Mm. And it made them act different when they were drinking. So who wants you, who likes you? This person, definitely someone specific, okay? For some of you guys. And what do they like about you? Um, they actually like your, your um, temper, even though that's also what they complain about. They like that you're strong, that you will cut them off in a heartbeat. They like that you don't you don't take bullshit. Um, physically, they like your back and your boobs, for sure. They're really into your boobs for the females. If you're a male, they really like your shoulder blades. Or if you like a male, or if you're here for a male, the shoulder blades, like the strength of your arms, the shoulder blades. But yeah, your attitude, it's mainly what they're into. They like the fact that you took care of them. You know, you're either you were wife or your husband material. You took care of them. You brought home the bacon, whatever. You cooked. You, whatever you did was very catering to this person. They like that. They like being taken care of. They like being tend to. But that's what pissed you off the most. The fact that you did all of that and this person still did what they did. I feel like you're wondering if the, if it's worth the wait. And if that's the case, you're going to get clarity soon. I feel like um, you're going to get clarity within two weeks. Maybe a couple of more days after the two weeks. You're going to find out what truly happened. And then you'll make the decision from there. I feel like you had moments where you wanted to kill this person physically. You wanted to punch them in the gut, do something extreme. <laughs> and they love that shit. They love it when you get angry. Ooh, this is a like a little masochist type of person. Maybe you slap them or something. They like that. They totally, they, they, they might have complained and maybe held your hands. Like, stop it. Don't do that or whatever, right? If you got really angry. But they, oh my God, that shit turned them on. It was like, yes. That's, that's my person. That's my ride or die. Something like that. Very rough. A little on the rough side. All right. Um, I think that's all I'm getting. Pile three. Um, if you like the reading, please remember to like the video, uh, to comment. And definitely subscribe to the channel for more, okay? I wish you guys the best. Take care. Ciao.